Hello everyone, it's Blaster, and welcome back to episode number 29 of our Pokemon Moon Emerald Nuzlocke. In the last episode, guys, we went ahead and made our way through the entirety of Victory Road. And we... Eh, not, no, not, I'm not gonna spoil whether we made it through One Piece or not. To find out that, you'll have to click the last episode if you have not already. But today... Yeah. Today is the day... You've all been waiting for. Because we are going to be taking on the Pokemon League. I don't know if we're going to be doing all the Elite Four members in this episode or just two of them. We'll see how the timing goes. But if you guys are hyped for us to be... <laughs> for us to be done with this game. I almost said something like dumb. Like <laughs> for us to be finally rid of this game. No. No, I, no I, I've enjoyed this LP. You know, it's kind of you know thrown me for a loop multiple times. Hold on a second. Alright, we back. So yeah, I guess uh, I'm saying, you know, this, this game is starting- this game is- <laughs> This game has kind of hurt me a lot, cause, you know, we- it, it, it's, our, it's our first Nuzlocke loss on the channel. I've also lost quite a number of Pokemon that I've- I, I honestly grew attached to. Like, you know, I grew attached to Buddy, Roman, McNugget, who else is there? Fucking uh, Speaks I was, I, was, I was starting to like. I, I also- I was also liking, you know, Namo, Lauren, all those guys. And Skipper, of course, you can't forget Skipper, our first death. Anyways, that's all in the past. So yeah, if you had a hype for us to be uh, us to be wrapping up this game, make sure you smash like button below for us. Cut you all right, know your support is greatly appreciated. And let's go ahead and get a quick team recap. Just see what we're working with here today. I got everyone a little bit higher up to level 55 because I deemed that to be an appropriate level for taking on the league as a whole. Like you know. Taking into consideration both the Elite Four levels and the Champion levels. So up first, we have our General leading the charge. Gooder, level 55. Our bold natured Alolan Sand Slash. Still holding his lax incense. Or her lax incense. My bad. Rocking Icicle Crash. Finally got a Stab Ice type move by level up. I was so fucking happy when he wanted to learn Icicle Crash. I was like, oh my god, yes! So yeah, now we, have, now we finally have some ice type stab. We're also rocking Iron Head, Earthquake, and Sword Dance as well. I did get rid of Stone Age because all things considered, Stone Age is probably our most um, our most disposable move slot, I should say. <coughs> Up next, we have Volrus, level 55, our gentle leader tie Rantrum, holding the King's Rock, Rock and Dragon Claw, Rock Team, Earth League, and Crunch. Same moveset as always. Up next, we have Jin, level 55, our timid natured Alolan Marowak, holding a quick claw, cause he ain't the fastest out there, but he's rocking Flare Blood, Shadow Punch, Earthquake, and Iron Head. Up next, we have Tenko, level 55, our sassy natured Machamp, holding a Focus Band, rocking Brick Break, Earthquake, Knock Off, and Bulk Up. I did do what I said I was gonna do and gave Tenko Bulk Up over Rock Smash, and I also gave Tenko Earthquake over Iron Head. Main reason for that is, I guess, you know, Earthquake just feels right on the camp. Also, in case, you know, you have to go against any electric types or anything else that's weak to ground that fighting can't beat. Because let's face it, I'm not going to be sad. I I'm probably, nine times out of ten, I'm probably not going to be leaving the camp in against a fairy type if they have any in the Elite Four or the Champion Battle. So yeah, we have Tenko here. Hopefully, she puts in some work. I'm next, we have Bully Level 5, our series needed Galissapod. Holding the Shell, Bell, Rock and Leech, Life, Waterfall, Earthquake, and Sucker Punch. I did go ahead and buff your moveset a little bit too. And by buff, I mean literally just give you Earthquake over uh, Surf, because, um. Yeah, look at that special attack compared to that attack. I did not want a special move on my physical attacker, so I gave you Earthquake. Yeah, again, for kind of the similar reasons as McCamp. You know, Earth Earthquake's just like a nice move to have on hand, just for, you know, in case you ever need it. So yeah, I mean, also I didn't really have any, anything else I could teach him instead of that, so... Or teach her instead of that. So, Earthquake it is. And last but not least, we have Sour Level 55, our series natured Sarina, holding the Miracle Seed, Rock and Razor Leaf, High Jump Kick, Play Rough, and Toxic. We did learn Play Rough by level up during grinding, so that was pretty nifty. And Toxic, I gave her... I mean, I gave him... God, that's the third time I've mixed up genders, whatever. Well, I mean, to be fair, Serena can, in the normal game, Serena can only be female, so that's not necessarily my, like, my fault, entirely, at least. But yeah, I gave, I gave Serena Toxic instead of Acrobatics, because I wanted to have the Miracle Seed, because, again, we, we don't have the best Grass-type stab. 
Ridge Leaf, uh, again, I, I said this in the last episode, Ridge Leaf was the best gra the, the best physical grass type move we got by level up. Other than that, we got Magical Leaf as a Steeny, and uh, Leaf Storm as a Serena. Both of those are special, and again, same thing with Glizzapod. Look at the attack and special attack difference. I'm not running a special move on my Serena. I, I did I did give it, I did let her learn or him learn Leaf Storm, but that was only for grinding. You know, like you you, you didn't see you didn't see Leaf Storm on the end move set in the last episode. So yeah, that's our that's our team in all its glory. But anyways, without further ado, I bought enough potions, or at least they should be enough potions. About 32, we also have 20 full heals. Uh, actually, I, I should probably sell those Macter Bells, because we're not going to be needing those. You know, I sold a bunch of stuff off screen, but I did not think to sell ma the, the Macter Bells. I don't know why. Because, you know, we're not going to be needing them, because, you know, we're pretty much at the end of the game. So let me go ahead and sell those real quick, like, if I can get, if I can learn how the menu works. Alright, there we go. Uh, I might as well use this to buy some more. I think I bought some floor stars as well. Like, well, I have one. Oh boy. And I can only buy one more, so I think I'll just buy some, uh... I'll just stick to my hair potions. Like, my four more. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Actually, I can buy one more full heal. I'm gonna do that, because, you know, you never know. They might come in handy. They might come in handy. But without further ado, it's time. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon, and go forth. Do I want to, uh... Alright, let's do this. Fuck it. There's no turning back now. Also, I, I didn't say this in the last episode, but Victory Road music and the uh, Pokemon League music in this game, I fucking love. Because, like, listen to it. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. Alright. So we should have Sydney here. Yep. Okay, so he's gonna have dark types. Um so I'm gonna leave with Tenko. I could also leave with Bully. But my, my, my gut told me to leave with Tenko. So I'm gonna do that. Welcome, challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that look you give me. I guess it'll give me a good match. That's good, looking real good. Alright, you and me, let's enjoy battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. Hell yeah, my dude. All right, Sydney. Leave for Sydney. He's gonna leave with a crocodile. Okay. Starting at level fifty, by the way. <laughs> uh, are you gonna have? Yeah, you're gonna have intimidate. God, gosh darn it. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start by setting up a bulk up. He, he, okay, you can go for the earthquake. We should be able to take that because we're five levels above you. Uh, that's exactly half. But bulk up's gonna raise our defense, so we should be able to take uh, earthquake better now. But I do, I definitely want to go ahead and heal up. Uh, I'm not sure how, I'm not sure if I'll have to, like, try to conserve potions in this. I'll have to see how, uh, how I end up using them because, you know, obviously I can't just spam them because, you know, <laughs> if I, if I just, you know, spam heal, we'll, we'll run out before we know it. Alright, let's go for, let's go for a brick break. Knock off, that's fine. Okay, so that's, so that, gets of, that gets rid of our focus band. Which, I mean, focus band is just kind of there because I didn't really have anything else to give Tenko. Um, so that's not too terrible. It's better, uh, at least better than any, anyone else getting knocked off. Alright, so Brick Break's gonna Oko the Crocodile, so that's out of here. Crocodile, crocodile actually really fits Sydney, too. Oh boy. Mega Absol. And I have a funny feeling you're gonna have either Play Rough or Psycho Cut. Which means that I should go into Bully. That's what that means. We're plus one defense. But Psycho Cut also has a high crit chance, if he has that. So I should go into Bully. That's, that's like an unfitting cry, was that, like Slowpoke? Alright, he's gonna- okay, uh, well, Mega Absol is frail. It's very frail. And this is a stab, super effective leech life coming from Galissapod. That's two levels above you. There we go. Down goes the Mega Absol. We don't gotta worry, we don't gotta worry about Sword Dance today. Not today, my dudes. Persian, that's gonna be an Alolan Persian, okay. Uh, and that's what- Wait, He gets power gem, oh boy. Oh boy, um, well we have- we have- we have the special defense to live a hit, right? I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, we should be able to live one non-stab power gem. I mean, I could- I could switch into Tenko, but like, I don't know if he's gonna whip out anything. Oh, he just goes for fake out. Okay, so I could have switched into Tenko. 
I would have done nothing to Tenko also. Okay, he does have power again, but we should be able to eat this. Okay, we eat it up. Alright, go for the Leech Life, which will give us... Pretty much, uh, if this Oko's, like it should, because Furco doesn't exist in this game, should give us all of our HP back. It does Oko. And it gives us all of our HP back. Let's go, bully. Let's freaking go. Honk Crow's coming in. Oh, yeah, I should have known he's gonna have this. Okay! Uh, do I want it? Yeah, you know what? Okay, let's send, let's send in Gooder. This is Gooder's time to shine. We finally have our ice type stab. Let's put it to good use against this Honk Crow. Hit him with it, Gooder. Hit him with it! You ain't living this. You ain't living this. Even with my bold nature, you are not living this. Get out of here, Honk Crow. Get out of here. He has an Incineroar. Okay, I can respect that. Incineroar is a very nice Pokemon. Let's go into Volrus. Let us go into Volrus. <coughs> Again, I, I want to try. I want to try to give all of our Pokemon uh, a chance to shine here. Yo, look at that! Look at that! Look at that Pokemon! I don't understand. Like why? Like people people hate, people hate it just because it's on two feet instead of like a four-legged cat. Like you like you want it to be like an actual tiger. But like he still looks cool. Come on now, give him. Come on, just, just give, give him. Give, he needs more love. He deserves more love than he gets, in my opinion. Let's go to Rock Tomb. This is not gonna Oko, but it's gonna two KO and drop that speed. Uh, okay, he's gonna whip out double. Why are you running double team in Cinderor? Why? I thought you were gonna click Earthquake or something. I mean, I figured I was gonna live in Earthquake, but still. I mean, that, that gives me a chance to Earthquake you and just kill you. There you go. There we go, and I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, that was your last Pokemon. JK, I'm an idiot. He has a he still has a Greninja. So... I'm gonna go into Bully. I could go into Sour, but he might have Ice Beam. So I'm gonna go into Bully. Bully's a safer play here. I'm gonna go into Bully. I know I, know I, I know I use Bully quite a bit in this battle, but come on, like, you know, I gotta use Pokemon that will get the job done better and be at less of a risk of dying than risking than being a little riskier just for the sake of giving other on screen time <laughs> you know last time i guess tried to give him on screen time it didn't end very well so we all cut the greninja that should be your last pokemon yes okay so we beat sydney without losing anyone solid start all right and we're, we're only 12 minutes in so i think we might be able to make it through all four in this episode i might try to uh, then I don't know how long Phoebe's gonna take. Uh, okay, I do wanna heal up Tenko, though. I do wanna heal up Tenko, and she's gonna have ghost types. Now, we don't really have the best op answers for ghost types on our team. However, we do have a lot of dark type moves. We have knockoff on Tenko, we have crunch on Volrus. I mean, we have, we have you, but I don't really, I mean, cause, you know, ghost, ghost versus ghost is kind of a double-edged sword. Um, we have sucker punk on you, and that's about it. So, half our team has dark type coverage. Uh, I'm, I, I'm actually with Tenko, actually, because in case they want to, like, try to burn me or something, I have guts, so you can go ahead and burn me all you like. What's poppin', Phoebe? <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I train, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, the body delivered with Pokemon- Developed, not delivered. With Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just try and see if you, can even, if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. I mean, I'm sure I can. I can, I can inflict damage, <laughs> no problem. You know, just knock off, bam, you're dead. All right, what's your first Pokemon? Oh, yeah, they all have, they all, they all have full team of six. And you're starting off at level 48. That's a little questionable, but okay. Let's hit you with. Actually, let's, let's set up a bulk up first. Uh, Palsand is a special attacker. Well, it should be. Uh, unless he's running Earthquake. Which, okay, he's running Earth Power. How well can we take this? Pretty well. Let's go for a knockoff. Let's hit him with a knockoff. Plus one, super effective knockoff. Seven levels above. This is not Okoing. Well, Pile Sign is pretty bulky. I'll give him that. Uh, Alright, Earth Power. Special Defense fell. But we do have speed. I'm gonna go for an Earthquake, because I know she's gonna heal. So the plan is to go for an Earthquake, then next turn hit him with a uh, knockoff, and kill him. Because we saw how much knockoff did. So Earthquake should put him in range of knockoff killing. 
Or we can get crit. That, that, that's cool. That's cool. Alright. Let's go run our Earthquake. In case he heals again, which he doesn't. Alright. Yeah, so, that, so that's gonna seal the Palace Sand. Gonna seal his fate. Or her fate. Alright. So that's one put one down. What's next? Uh, okay. Drift Blim. Uh, okay. Let's go into Volrus. Let's go into Volrus against this Drift Blim. Uh, I, mean, I, couldn't, I couldn't stand for one thing because a, it's a flying type and also because we had minus one special defense. Let's hit him with a Rock Tomb. Uh, how much are we doing? This should do decent damage. I, I don't think Drifloom has, has the best defenses, but it has a lot of HP. Didn't quite Oko. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. We did, our, we did drop the speed. You can go for Psychic. Okay, we should be able to live that no problem because it's not Stab. You'd have been better off going for Shadow Ball. Let's hit it with a Crunch. Okay, he doesn't heal. Again. I, again, I, I kind of did that in case she did heal. So that's Drifloom out, down and out. Rusk. <laughs> that's how they simulate fucking Aftermath. Okay. Uh, okay, she's gonna have an Alolan Marowak. She's probably gonna have Earthquake, like mine. Uh, so I think Bully is our, is our best bet here. I think Bully is our best bet here. Because my Marowak, assuming it has a similar moveset to mine, the worst thing it would have to, to touch Bully is Flare Blitz, which is Stab, but we're also six levels above, and our defense is sky high. So let's hit him with, hit him with a waterfall. We do have speed as well. This should Oko. Well, it might. It doesn't quite. Okay. That's that's why I said it might. Okay, it does go for Flare Blitz. And the recoil will kill her. So, it's like, yeah, we can live it no problem, and the recoil kills. Hey, All right, so that's half your team down. Half your team to go. What's coming in next? A Frostlass. Okay. Okay, Frostlass. Uh, let's go into Gooder. I was, almost gonna, I was almost gonna go to Volrus, and I'm like, wait, you're a dragon type. That's a bad idea. But you know what's not a bad idea? It's going into Gooder, who is a steel type, and iron heading the frick out of this Frostlass. Bam, bam. Shout about we eat those. We don't have the best special defense, but we should be able to easily eat that. Special defense falls. That's a little unfortunate. But Iron Head should do a significant amount of damage, if not Oko. <sighs> Fucking bold nature, dog. Now here's the problem. I don't know if a Shadow Ball, since we are, since we are now minus one, I don't know if a Shadow Ball kills from here. Because does, she, she does outspeed us. Unless she's gonna heal. I don't know if she's gonna heal. But I have to switch to be on the safe side. I think my play is just to go back to Bully, honestly. Because I can't go into Sour, obviously, because Ice-type. Can't go into Jin. Because, well, if she could Shadow Ball, it's going to do a lot. Because we're a Ghost-type. Tenko's injured, so I could go into her. But I think my best bet is Bully. My best bet is definitely Bully. Uh, if she heals, then I'll just go for a Sucker Punch next turn. If she does not heal, she goes for Shadow Ball. How, much, how can Bully take a Shadow Ball? Pretty well. Okay, so all I gotta do now is heal up, and then and then click Sucker Punch, and we should be good to go against this Frostlass. You have Thunderbolt. Okay, that did decent damage. No, I don't want to heal again. I want to click Sucker Punch and kill this Frostlass. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Then goes Frostlass. So two more Pokemon. And this might actually put Bully to level 56, now that I think about it. And we, are, well, we also got some Shell Ball recovery, which is nice. Alright, go to gain some experience. Oh, he, yeah, we're not gonna gain the level, because uh, we split experience. Mega Gengar. This is where things get terrifying. Because we don't have very fast Pokemon. At all. Uh, uh, and you're gonna have... I'm gonna take. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a guess as to what this move, this Gengar is gonna have. It is most likely going to have. Is that well? It's definitely gonna have Shadow Ball. That's a given. Uh, it should have Sludge Bomb, or some sort of Poison Stab. You know, the obviously the best option for that is Sludge Bomb. Um, I'm also I'm also thinking its other two moves are gonna be Psychic and Thunderbolt. That's what I would expect. So, Volrus, maybe. Maybe Volrus? Uh, I don't even. I think yeah, I think Volrus is like, cause like I I don't know what else to go into, cause like, fucking I mean there's I mean there's fucking Gooder maybe. Okay, so okay, it's pretty low level, which is at least works in my favor. Let's go for a Crunch, Shadow Ball. Can we take this? We're sick a little above, but it is a Mega Gengar. Oh, Volrus. 
Ooh, a rest please, Elko. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I have no choice now but to heal up. And whether she heals up or not, um, either, I mean, I'll, I mean, either way I'm catching a Shadow Ball eventually. She does heal up, okay, so, it, I mean, is this supposed to be her ace, but it's not the right level? Because, like, I don't know. Alright, Shadow Ball, we can eat, okay, we should be able to take one from full, no problem. No problems whatsoever. Oh, uh, that did a lot, and the special defense fell. Uh, I need to get a high roll, or a crit, either works. Come on, Volaris. Volaris! I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What am I supposed to do? What am I actually supposed to do? 96 special defense, 121, 110, 97, 121, 122. How much HP was, uh, 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 I mean, I could go into bully. That's always an option. I think I have to, because, like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I, I don't want to risk Gooder. Gooder's too valuable. Yeah, yeah, I think I guess I have to go back and... Fuck. I think Volors, I think, I think Volors is gonna die. And there's nothing I can do about it. I think Volaris is just gonna die. I can't switch out, I can't do anything, I can't save. Goes for Psychic. That's not Stab, but we're minus one. Oh my god, yeah, I think Volaris is gonna die. I don't think there's anything I can do to save Volaris. Unless he gets, unless he gets goes for like Thunderbolt or something. Like something that's not very effective. Why, aren't, why are you not going for Shadow Ball? That's my question. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just heal spamming at this point just to try to save Volrus. Like, I don't want, I don't want Volrus to die, but I don't know. I don't know if there's any other way out of this. And that's a crit. Volrus is gone. <sighs> well, that's our first Elite Four casualty. God fucking damn it. Volaris now the only surviving member of our original new team is Gooder, the general. At least Bully gets level 56, I guess. Alright, I think you have one more Pokemon, you have a Delmize, okay. Okay, Delmize, um... Gooder? Question mark? Cause I should be able to just hit this thing with a, an Icicle Crash, right? I should be able to just hit this thing with an, with an Icicle Crash. And we should be able to Oko. If not, then again, I blame our bold nature. We do not Oko. Well, it, then again, I don't know if that would've. Heavy Slam, uh, is Delmize that heavy? I don't know if it's gonna do a lot or not. I don't know what to expect. Okay, that did nothing. Wow! Wow, that did nothing. The Citrus Berry, is this supposed to be your ace? I'm so confused. Okay, well, as long as we land an Icicle Crash, we should be good to go. Yeah! Yeah, that's my general. That's my general. Down goes the Delmize, and that should be it for Phoebe. That should be it for Phoebe. <sighs> so even though we lost Volaris, which is very sad and unfortunate, there was nothing I could do to save him at that point. In hindsight, I probably, actually now that I think about it, should have gone for Earthquake instead of Crunch, but the, and the reason why I didn't it's just kind of like one of those moments where you just kind of blank, and I just kind of read that as like a regular Gengar, in the sense that it would have Levitate, because I'm used to battling Gengars that have Levitate, versus I'm not used to battling Mega Gengars that don't have Levitate. So, that's kind of my defense for why I didn't click Earthquake. In hind like, based on how much Crunch did, I, it probably would have killed, but... I mean, hey, we all make mistakes. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, do I wanna... Well, I guess we'll... I guess we'll keep going, but, like... Yeah, well, fuck it, we'll keep going. Uh, actually... Who the fuck are you? This... <laughs> who the fuck are you? Uh, see, I'm, I'm debating here. Okay, let me take let me take a second to think. Yeah, fuck it, we'll just, we'll, we'll just do all of them in one episode. Um, uh, okay, so this guy, I don't even know who this guy is. Wait, is, I think I've seen him in the anime before. I didn't watch much of the Gen 3 anime, but I think I recognize this guy. 
I'm not sure, however, what he's going to be rocking with. Like, I don't know if I should just assume that he's gonna still rock be rocking with ice types. I mean, I could leave, I could leave with Jin, or I could keep leaving with Tenko. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll just leave with Tenko again, and I'll see what happens. I need a, okay, um, okay, you're clearly not Glacia. Uh, welcome. My name is Glacia the Elite Four. I've crawled from afar to hone and let me hone my ice skills. But I've seen our challenges by weak treasures in the Pokemon. What about you? It will please me to know if I can go all out against you. Yeah, you're definitely not Glacia. Yeah, you're fucking Graxy. Who the fuck? I do. I do not recognize that name. Doug Trio. That's not a nice type. So you're either running ground types or steel types. But either way, Brick Break kills you straight up because Doug Trio is very frail, a low one or not. Well. A little invoke on the same base stats as their Reginald, so. You are straight up dying to this. I don't care what anyone says. Down you go. Who's coming in next? Who is coming in next? Gastrodon? That is cool by me, because I have a grass type sitting right here that's been waiting to get some action. And his time to shine is finally now. Alright, Gastrodon, you are ready to catch this Razor Leaf? This Miracle Seed boosted quad effective stab Razor Leaf. Hey, we don't miss. Every time I every time I click a move that has a slight chance of missing, even if it's just five percent, I'm always worried that I'm going to miss. Cause that's how my Nuzlocke luck works. Flygon is coming in. Okay, Flygon. Uh, so I don't want to go into. I don't really want to go into Gooder because he's going to outspeed me and he's going to click Earthquake and that's going to do a lot of damage and that's super effective. Even though my defense is pretty high, I don't want to risk Gooder like that. So I think my next best bet is Bully. I think. We can go for a Leech Life or a Waterfall, do neutral damage, Flygon's defenses aren't all that, so we should be okay there. Actually, I'll be right back in just a second. All right, we're back. Sorry, I thought my cat was going to do something. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go for a Waterfall. He has Stone Egg, okay. All right, Flygon, you kinda might wanna chill just a little bit. Waterfall does half. Uh, I'm pretty sure I should be able to take a Stone Age, though. Because we're four levels above, our defense is sky high, and it's not stab. So I should ideally, hopefully, be able to take a Stone Age. Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> okay, yeah, we eat it up. Waterfall will kill this thing. So that's half his team down, half his team to go. So what's coming in next? What is coming in next? That is the million dollar question. Camerupt, that's fine, because I'm a water type. All right, Camerupt. All right, Camerupt, we're gonna take some sandstorm damage, but we should definitely outspeed you, because Camerupt is slow as shit, and Waterfall is quad effective. This has to Oko, like there's no way around it. There is no way around this not Okoing. There we go. I don't know why he's sending a camera up against my Galispa. That makes no sense whatsoever. So that's four of us, but one down. He's got two left. So far, we're doing pretty well against this guy. What's he got next? Mudsdale. Okay. All right, Mudsdale. Um, I think I'm going to go back into Sour for this one. I think, because, again, this thing might have Stone Eggs, like the Flygon. And Sour will obviously be able to take a Stone Eggs much better than Bully would. Well, then again, though, our defense isn't as high as Bully's, but at the same time, I shouldn't go for Razor Leaf. Because uh, I don't, th I can't really think of this thing having much that would really hurt us that badly. Uh, he has Heavy Slam, okay. Uh, Mudsdale's actually pretty heavy, though, so this might do a lot, but it's also not Stab. Okay, we, we eat it up. Go for a Razor Leaf. We don't miss. <laughs> Again, that's what I'm always afraid of. So that's going to kill the Mudsdale. And his last Pokemon is going to be a... Torterra. Again, I want to go into my Ice type, but it's also a Ground type. So... Uh, I mean, I could go into Tenko, actually. Because, again, Torterra might have Stone Egg, so you know, fuck it, let's go into Torterra. I mean, let's go into Tenko. Tenka, I mean, she's almost level 56, which is cool. Alright, Torterra, level 54. Yeah, they're starting to catch up. 
Uh, first of all, let me knock off if you have any item. Okay, Earthquake. Uh, I might actually do a significant amount of damage. Hopefully we can take it. Uh, okay, we barely take that. Alright, knock off whatever item you have, which is a le Leftovers. That's pretty good. Then we got rid of that. Alright, let's go for a Brick Break. Go for Earthquake again. We should be able to take that. Check how much damage the first one did. Uh, okay. <laughs> for a second, I thought he got, um, you know, that, that word. Uh, okay, so now you want to heal up. I think Tenko can definitely beat this thing. I think we can definitely beat this thing with Tenko. We can go for Super Power. That's fine by me, because that's not stab, so we should be able to eat that up even better than Earthquake did. And that's going to lower your attack and defense, so you're going to be doing even less to us, and we can do even more to you, my dude. Earthquake, we are eating this. Now that you're minus one, we are absolutely eating this. Yeah. Yeah. Get him, Tenko! Get him, Tenko! And that's it for Graxi? I still don't fucking know that name. Like, is that like a glitch or something? Like, and I don't want, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to sound stupid, but like, isn't this guy's name like Nolan or something like that? Something I want to say? I didn't, I didn't watch, I barely watched any of the Gen 3 anime, so if I got that wrong, don't, cru don't crucify me in the comments. Uh, okay, so we beat three of them. We got one more left. Let's heal up the squad. Or at least those that need to be healed. Which will be, uh, these three. <sighs> Rest in peace, Volris. Uh, okay, so the next one should be Dragon, unless they change it. In which case, I have absolutely no reason not to lead with Gooder. And before I lead with the fucking <laughs> Restoran. Or, uh, or, is there any other? Oh, there's Turtonator. Uh, uh, he might lead with a Turtonator. Uh, well, I'll just see how this goes. If he does lead with a Turtonator, obviously I'll have to switch, but we'll see how this goes. I am the last of the Pokemon League. Elite Four, Drake the Dragon Master. In an actual state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. First, the battle with Pokemon as partners. Do you know what it takes? Do you know what's needed? If you don't, they will never prevail over me. Alright, last guy. Here we go. Here we go, my dudes. We're battling Drake. So, I don't know why they changed only one of them, but okay. Leads with a Mega Garchomp. Okay. Oh, that's a ground type. But, I mean, I'm already in, so... I mean, Mega Garchomp is slower than regular Garchomp. I'm gonna go for it. You guys were... Oh, God, he outspeeds. Get her! Please tell me you can live this. Get her! Get her! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You are a fucking legend. You are an absolute fucking legend. Oh, my goodness. That was so risky, and I'm so glad it paid off. Drampa? Okay, I have to- I have to get the fuck out of here. Oh! That was so scary. Alright, Drampa's coming in. Alright, we can go ahead and brick break that. No problemos. Uh, not, I don't know if it's Oko. I'm not sure how, how good Drampa's defenses are. I don't think they're the best. Yeah, okay, it Oko's. So that's it for Drampa. Alright, what's next? What's coming in next? An Exegu- Oh, Lola Exegu- <laughs> I was so confused for a second. Um, okay. It's gonna bully. It's gonna bully. We're not quite effective against you anymore, but we are still super effective since you are still grass. <coughs> Look at that sprite. Alright, let's go for a leech life. This should do a decent amount of damage. Again, I'm not sure how good your defenses are. Well, they'd be the same as regular executors, but at the same time, I'm not sure how good regular executor defense is. Okay, he lives it. Alright, what's he gonna go for? Dragon breath? That's not we eat that, no problem. <laughs> it's a weak ass move. Alright, um, should I go for, okay, either way, he's gonna heal, yeah, he's gonna heal, so I'm gonna go for a Sucker Punch to get a little bit of chip damage off, and then Leech Life should be able to kill him from there, depending on how much Sucker Punch does, uh, well, we'll see, yeah, I think, uh, it might be a roll, actually, it might be a roll, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it, go for a Leech Life, uh, can we get a Max Roll or a Crit, if we get a Crit, this, this is okay no matter what, no matter what, Hey, Max Roll! And we got our HP back, so down goes the Executor. So that's half his team down, half his team to go. What's coming in next? Survey says... Turtonator. I knew, I knew he was gonna have one. Uh, alright, Turtonator. We haven't used Jin at all here. You know what? I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna use Jin for this one, because we have Earthquake on Jin. I'm gonna use Jin. I am going to use Jin for this. And he is hopefully going to be able to beat this Turtonator 1v1. Let's go for an Earthquake. We are timid. Uh, this thing does have decent defense, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's like a 3 of KO. Oh, that's a yikes. Dragon Pulse, how, how- okay, how much is this doing? How much is this doing? A fair amount of damage. 
Go for a Shadow Punch. Just to get a little bit extra damage. Also, another Earthquake kills. Put him in range of Earthquake killing. Dragon Pulse. That's fine. We, we can take that. And then we outspeed you. So, one more Earthquake will finish you off. One more Earthquake will finish you off. So, that'll be it for Terminator. So, that means two Pokemon left. What's coming in next? What is coming in next? Uh, Kamo-O. Oh, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Alright, he's gonna have a Kamo-O next. Um, okay. Oh, we have Player Off on Sour. Let's do this. <laughs> I was like, fuck, how, do, how, how am I gonna handle Kamo-O? But we have Player Off on Sour. So we got this. We need to live one hit from level 50 fucking 7, dog. Dragon Claw, please tell me we can take this. Please tell me we can take the Sour. Oh yeah, we take that, no problem. But we missed. Alright, we land that one. So, player off Shadow Cook, that's quite effective. I know it's not stab, but it's quite effective. Are you serious? Wow, he actually lived on... Well, like, that's like, you know, a decent amount of HP, but still, he barely lived that. I have to heal. Like, whether he heals or not, I have to heal. Alright, what's he gonna go for? Oh, he's, he's also gonna heal. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go for another player off. I'm gonna go for another player off. You can go for Dragon Dance. Uh, no, 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 no. I need to be able, I need to Oko. Can we get a max roll? Or a crit? Either one works. Yes! Ask and you shall receive, goddammit. What's your last Pokemon? Bring that out here. It's a Guzzlord. Okay. I'm gonna go into Tenko. Yes, I'm gonna go into Tenko, because I need, I need, I can't risk Sour. I need Sour for the final battle. So I'm going into Tenko. <laughs> Celebes cry. All right, go for the Brick Break. I know this thing has crazy high HP, but its defenses are not equal to that. So hopefully, yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't think Sudoku, because again, HP, sky high HP. To be able to eat, eat up a Dragon Claw, and then kill him with one more Brick Break. He has Leftovers or Citrus? Citrus, okay, that's cool. Because Brick Break will still kill, kill, still kill from here, and that'll be it for Drake. So we did lose one Pokemon in the Elite Four, but we didn't lose any more, and that's what counts. That's what matters. So, Volrus, your sacrifice will not have been in vain, because we are going to win this. We only have one more battle left to come, and we are going to be taking care of that in the next episode of our Pokemon Moon Emerald Nuzlocke. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course if you want to show your support, make sure you leave a like, because your support is greatly appreciated. But I will catch you guys next episode for the finale of this LP. Until then, your boy is Audi 5 Bugillion. Bye!